Oh, hello. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Rob Tart. This is my cow, Fluffy, and you're watching Pie's Perspective. All right, Fluffy, we gotta go. People are waiting on us. Fluffy? A man named Gary Corkuk from Cheektowaga, New York, is being charged with animal cruelty. Now, initially you would think he neglected his pet or kept it in unsafe conditions. Now, I guess in a way this guy did both. Police discovered the man's cat in the trunk of his car. The cat was found in a mixture of oil, crushed pepper, salt, and other ingredients. Turns out the man was marinating his cat so that he could eventually eat it. Now, there are parts of the world where eating cat is acceptable, but North America isn't one of them. Now, what makes it worse, or some might argue a happy ending, is that the cat survived and it's actually doing well. So he didn't kill the the animal before marinating. He marinated the animal while it was still alive. It took several baths to clean the marinade off this animal and we all know how much a cat loves a good bath. Now the first thing I gotta wonder is how did this guy decide on the ingredients to put into his marinade? Now there are plenty of cookbooks out there but I'm pretty sure you won't see titles like fun feline fondue recipes, easy marinades and sauces for your pet, secrets to barbecued dog, how to fillet Fido. Now can you imagine if they made eating cat and dog legal? You go to the meat counter at your local supermarket, uh yeah give me five dollars of your prime Labrador. Uh, I'll also take half a pound of your finest Persian. Instead of pig roast, people would be having cat and dog roasts. Hey Larry, what's on the menu tonight? You remember my dog Rex? Uh, yeah, I remember Rex. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now what about the trauma to this poor cat? Every time it walks into the kitchen and smells supper cooking, it'll bolt and disappear for hours. If there happens to be a cooking show on TV, the cat will quiver uncontrollably before it collapses into the fetal position. Buying a pet carrier or a litter box that even looks remotely like a crock pot won't go over very well either. I think this guy's punishment is he should be buried up to his neck in cat litter for several days while multiple felines do their business around him. All right, who wants ice cream? We have the thumbs up sickle, the subscribe sickle, the three flavor fave sickle, and the comment on a stick. Please help yourself to anything you like. Now I'm sure most of you have heard of Movember. If you haven't, it's an annual month-long event that involves the growing of facial hair by men during the month of November. Now a new movement from feminists is asking women to grow out their eyebrows. They claim that too many women spend too much time plucking and tweezing their eyebrows. So feminists have now declared the month of December to be Decembrow. They're asking women to grow out their eyebrows until they start to look like Frida Kahlo, who is a famous Mexican artist. And if you haven't guessed it, she has a unibrow. Now, I'm not surprised a movement like this is coming from feminists. Many feminists will do anything they can to irritate men. And most men wouldn't appreciate their special lady going for the Groucho Marx look. I must admit that if my wife came home and told me she was planning on growing a unibrow, well, let's just say that I'd have to tell her it's not the kind of look we need for our annual family Christmas card. Now, I know women are free to do anything to their own body as long as it's not legal. But here's a list of things that are probably considered unappealing to most people. Some of these are just pet peeves of mine. Now in this particular story we're talking about growing out eyebrows, but body hair in general should be kept under control. Letting your garden grow is okay, but armpits, legs, and facial hair in general should probably be avoided. Missing teeth generally does not go over well. Think carefully about getting one of those back tattoos, you know the ones right above your ass. Something that looks really cool when you're 20 may look really ridiculous when you're 40. And the more you start to wrinkle, the more it starts to look like crumpled up newspaper. A common one that I see is portly women wearing skin tight pants or bicycle shorts. In case you aren't aware where? That isn't sexy. Can you say chewed bubblegum? Now many of these rules could also apply to men. Nobody wants to see pants that are so tight that someone could describe your package with complete accuracy to a police sketch artist. Usually a giant gold chain or any over the top bling can be an indicator of status or your increasing size in one area to make up for lack of size in another area. And finally, and this is a huge pet peeve of mine, wearing shades indoors. Now I hate to be the one to inform you of this, but you're just not that cool. Your friends and family don't want to hurt your feelings so they're just keeping quiet about it. But take it from me, the Fawn's called, and he wants his delusion that you're too cool for school back. Today's question of the day is, think of some other names for recipe books related to cooking the family pet. And for all the pet lovers out there, don't get offended, it's just a joke. I have a cat myself, and I have no plans on eating it anytime soon. Anyway, that's all I have for this week. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, it's not necessarily right or wrong, it's just my perspective. All right, Fluffy, can we go now? I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah, Mule, yeah. Hello, Fluffy, hello. It took several black guy decide on the green fun feli fond do that fun feli fun well, supper cush now a new movement now a new movement from mem now a new movement from feminists is asking women yeah, hello mm-hmm right mm-hmm go to hell sorry 
or you're increasing size in one area to make up for the 